I want to welcome everybody to the new for 2024 webinar here at Transfer Express. My name is Dave. I uh, uh, have been in the apparel decorating industry for just about 14. I think this is my 14 or 15th year now in the apparel decorated industry. I learned how to screen print on my kitchen table way, way, way back in the day. I come from a creative background and I got into it just trying to uh, to make shirts for my band way long ago. It took me way too long to be able to pull a print that I felt comfortable, even being inexperienced, that I felt comfortable selling uh, and flash forward working through three commercial print shops and uh, landing here at Transfer Express. And I found heat printing technology uh, and I absolutely sing its praises. I absolutely love the ease, the efficiency, the accessibility, the small footprint. Heat printing provides so much more than any other decoration method. Uh, and even with like the screen printed transfers that we look at, uh, you could get that same screen printed look and feel without any ink, screens, emulsions, anything like that. Direct to film transfers kind of have innovated uh, and really changed the game for what digital heat transfers are. They look great. They feel great. There's no clear outlines. So uh, I am buckled in and all for all of the uh, the heat transfers that are available out there and the capabilities that you could do it with a heat press. But that's not what we're talking about here today. We are talking about what's new from Transfer Express and what's new in the heat printing technology game and what's going to help you the most here in 2020. 2024. Uh, so I know we have a ton of stuff to get through, and I'm going to try to get through it as much as fast as I can. Uh, but if you have any questions at any time, feel free to jump in there to the chat section and say, hey, stop. Could you back up? Could you show me this again? Uh, I'm going to be bouncing around from this slideshow here to some screen sharing uh, just over on TransferExpress.com in the EasyView Online Designer if you're unfamiliar. Uh, so if you see anything that's like, hey, what did you just do? Uh, it, I'm going to try to see it and be able to uh, to come back and actually be able to show you and answer all of your questions. I my, my sole existence here at Transfer Express is to help your business succeed, okay? Anything I could do in my power, whether it be, uh, you know, application tutorials or small business tips or whatever it looks like for you, uh, I want to help you achieve your goals. So uh, if there's something that's really kind of even not anything in, into this webinar, let us know in the chat section, or if you're watching a replay of this, let us know down in the comments section below what we could do to help your business thrive, whether it be different solutions or just education or whatever it is, I want to help you out. So uh, the first step is, is hearing from decorators just like you, which uh, we'll be doing soon at some trade shows, but we could do it here as well. So in our agenda here today, we're going to be talking about uh, a few new marketing tools. So essentially 10 new marketing tools that we're going to have here in 2024. And I think that's a modest number if you count everything that's included with those kits. Uh, it's definitely much more than uh, 10 marketing tools. We are going to talk about how you could get real ink real fast. I might have spoiled it a little bit more, but it might be about those Plastisol screen printed transfers where you could get that screen printed look and feel with just a heat press. Uh, some new products coming down the pipeline. Very, very exciting. Uh, I have seen almost all of our new products so far, at least that are being launched within the next couple months. Uh, and I am very excited to be able to use them. So uh, the one that I'm going to showcase here, we're going to be able to get hands-on at a trade show, right? Next week, we'll be at the trade show uh, getting hands-on with a brand new piece of equipment that I'm very excited about, uh, as well as a whole bunch of new artwork built to help you succeed, as well as some uh, industry trends that we'll touch on just to get you set up and rolling and able to really crush it for your customers, or if you're running your own clothing brand, your own business. Um, Brian says hello from the frozen wasteland known as Canada. <laughs> We're in Ohio here, so uh, it is cold too. Now, not as cold as the neighbors to the north here, but um, we know we know what it is. Yeah, that's why we go to to Southern California in January to go to the Impressions Expo <laughs> to avoid some of that. Um, let's see. Uh, Terry says uh, it, it's basically been one year out and it's been trial by fire. Yeah, learning. Uh, it's definitely an experience to learn, but that's something that I try to do with my 14 years of experience in this industry. I've made a ton of mistakes and I like to share my experiences with you so that you could save time. You could save money. You could save frustration by not making the same mistakes that I did. So um, please use me as a resource to help your business succeed. I would absolutely love that. Um, let's see. Jeanette says, I'm uh, uh, tuning in from North Carolina. First time user. Hopefully it's warm down there with you. 
Um, and awesome, awesome. Well, thank you for joining us. Let's jump, let's jump right in, right? So straight off the bat, we're talking about new marketing tools. And the first marketing tool, if you are a brand new user, like we just saw in the chat section, samples, right? Being able to get comfortable with heat transfer applications and understand the finishes and the effects that you are able to achieve. And you're going to see where that kind of uh, differs based on what your customer's needs are, maybe what their artwork looks like, maybe even based on the quantity that they need, there's going to be a product that's going to be right for you. Uh, so the first things up is this brand new sample pack, right? Uh, it does include some heat transfer samples that you could immediately start pressing. Now, this is completely free, right? I think it says here, on the slide free sample pack all you have to do is create a transfer express account and you could get this sample pack it has these little mini samples in there and has our brand new success guide which you see this guy uh, with shades on i wish i had some shades like that those are cool uh, but this success guide is filled with a whole bunch of stuff that's going to help you out so a whole bunch of product information and break down the different transfer types. It does have a little bit of the uh, idea book, which is the uh, artwork and layouts that are available with the easy view online designer at transferexpress.com. It has a little abbreviated book in there. So you could start to get some inspiration right away. And then of course, pricing, you're going to be able to get through all of that. I actually have one right here, which is one of these little idea books. Let me see if I could stop the slideshow and go full screen so I could just show you uh, all what's included in here. So there we are. There I am. I'm full screen. So you get this nice little book. This success guide talks about some of the different transfer types of what we have. All you need is a heat press. Of course, I'll never get tired of saying it because, oh, man, all the mess, the inks, emulsions, spraying screens out and cleaning them out with the uh, emulsion in them. I was doing it in the bathtub or in a sink next to the washer and dryer and spraying emulsion everywhere. Um, my girlfriend at the time, all those years ago, married me. So, hey, I did something right, right? <laughs> So it goes through some different transfer types and learning what to use when this is a great guide to have here because this what to use when guide uh, based on uh, it might be a little hard to see. I'm going to try to hold it up here, but the light might be washing it out up at top is apparel quantity and over on the side is how many colors are in your artwork. So say you just need 12 pieces uh, that have four plus colors. You could go down here and see that ultra color max is going to be the best option. Uh, and this is solely these lines are drawn pretty much based on cost. So what's going to be the minimal cost for you, which is going to help you maximize those profits. So say you just have a one color print, but you need 48 of them. A screen print and transfer is going to be what you're going to use. Also, in the fine print under each one of these categories breaks down the different fabric types. So in those different fabric types, you're able to actually see, uh, oh, for 100% polyester here, I should use the Elastoprint heat transfers. Oh, over here, if I have a, a six, six quantity total need with a one color, but I'm printing on nylon, I should use some Gorilla Grip, right? So there's a whole bunch of different products in there, and that's a Stahl's uh, CAD Cut Heat Transfer Vinyl. But you'll see that's in like this kind of one, little one square up here where you just have one color. Ultra Color Max with zero minimums could fill that too. But that's there if you do have a vinyl cutter, a Cricut, a Cameo, uh, one of the Caesar, Juliet's, or Romeo's. Love the naming on those. They did a good job. <laughs> But um, all of that here, there's also a QR code to a transfer selector tool. So you can see how this is going to get you up and running, set up and ready to go. Even if you had samples in a while and maybe you're just ordering Ultra Color Max or you're ordering the Goof Proof transfers, request one of these free sample packs. Michael, throw a link in the chat if he hasn't already uh, about these samples. So you could get this free sample pack for yourself. It's brand new for this year. Uh, so unless you've requested one in the past 11 days, you probably don't have it yet. And you can pick one up for free. We'd love to send you one. So uh, must-have tools we're going to go through. We're going to talk about some of this stuff here, the marketing kit, the application kit. We'll talk about the Easy View Online Designer, and I'll even get into it too. And there's a little QR code to some training as well. So if you are brand new to us, uh, we do have two YouTube channels, our Transfer Express YouTube channel, and then of course our Stalls TV YouTube channel, which are filled with hours and hours of on-demand content from small business marketing tips, uh, to profit calculations, how to print on demand, how to pick out the right heat press for your business, even to uh, how to market with the marketing kit. There's tons of videos that we have out there. We're releasing new ones every single week. So not only do we have the solutions that you could use, the, the equipment and the products, but there are also just... I, I want to say hours or months or years even of education out there uh, that is 100% completely free, just like this one is right now. Absolutely no obligation. I want to help your business thrive. So now we're into these layouts here. Uh, so these are some of the layouts that are available in the EasyView Online Design. 
there. You'll see that uh, that they do have little, well, it might be a little fuzzy for you, uh, but I could see, if, maybe just pick one up yourself. Request some samples right now, right? <laughs> uh, right here, uh, there are layout numbers that correspond to the EasyView Online Designer. So you could pick them up, right? And immediately start editing them. So you see some clip art in here. Here's that pricing guide that I was mentioning that's in the, in the kit as well. So you know what your price is for screen printed transfers, our full color transfers, as well as our ultra color max. And then of course, on the back side, a uh, little bit of overview of the samples that are in here. There's a little folder that says look inside. And sure enough, here are all these heat transfer samples, right? Now they're just little guys. So you could put them all on one shirt uh, to be able to show your customers, but they're nice little things. And they're even labeled uh, as to what exact transfer type they are. I'm just dropping them all over the place now. That's a screen printed one. So you see that Plastisol ink right on that, as well as names, numbers, all the stuff that we showed you there in that picture. I just made a mess all over my desk of all these transfers. We're going to put them up and just get them out of the way for right now. How about that? <laughs> Um, so you can see that there are a ton of stuff available just in that success kit uh, or the success guide and the welcome kit with all of those. So if you haven't signed up for a Transfer Express account, absolutely free. We're not even going to ask you for a credit card number uh, and we will ship these absolutely zero obligation to you. You don't even have to pay for shipping. We'll cover the shipping. We'll cover the cost of all the samples and get them out to you. Uh, that's how we, we just believe that having these tools at your fingertips is going to help you sell more. So uh, brand new. Definitely one to pick up there. Now, also uh, in, in that kit, we did see that it mentioned uh, the, the idea book, essentially, right? The marketing kit. Now, the idea book does feature uh, all of the artwork that's available in the easy. Well, not all of it. It's let's say the greatest hits, because if it was all of the artwork, th this book would be gigantic, right? Uh, it'd be really hard to browse through. But it has the best selling and the brand new uh, artwork that you could use uh, regardless if you could draw a stick figure or have zero graphic design experience, uh, the EasyView Online Designer, completely free, subscription free, easy to use over at transferexpress.com that could utilize some of those layouts that we saw or this book that features so much more, right? So I have another one down here as well. So we have our Easy Prints Idea Book. Now this one's gonna come, this says your business name here, uh, but this will come personalized to you and your business. So your customers don't even know that Transfer Express exists. They think this is your brand. And I'm going to get into a little bit more of what's in the marketing kit. But this is like my favorite thing because uh, so I said I, I come from a creative background, right? And got into printing apparel for the past, uh, yeah, I'd say probably 10 years at least. Uh, everybody's called me like, hey, Dave, he's the T-shirt guy, right? So I get requests for custom printed T-shirts all the time. And a lot of times people are like, I don't really know what I want, but I'll know it when I see it, right? Uh, and you've probably heard that before, uh, but graphic design is not Netflix. You can't just browse. It's going to cost money to create designs, or if you're going to go to Fiverr and have an artist do it or outsource it to a local graphic designer in your area, uh, they're going to charge per hour. Uh, and if you don't know what you want, that's going to be a lot of hours of ideation and checking back in and concepting to hone it down before they spend three hours putting a design together that you're like, oh no, I was really thinking something more like this. And then your customer just sends you a screenshot from Pinterest or Google. And you're like, why didn't you just send that in the first place? That would have really helped if you had that in mind uh, from the start before saying like, yeah, just do you do you. I, I'm sure I'll love it. And then your customer doesn't love it. Well, this flips the script, right? So this is able to just be browsed through. All of this artwork is free and easy for you to use. So this is just pages and pages, and they're all corresponding based on the color here. They're color coded. This is just basic layouts, but you'll see we're going to get in here to a school section. Uh, and so it's all corresponded down on the sides of uh, each one of these color coded. And you'll see too, that they are noted that they're brand new layouts at the top on the tag. I think I have a better picture coming up soon. Uh, so you're not looking at this little tiny picture of me in the corner uh, of what this ideal book looks like, or you're able to just go ahead and get one yourself. Uh, but hold on, I have a, uh, something very special for you here at the end uh, in relation to this idea book. So with the idea book, there are 200 new layouts for 2024 that are added in there. Uh, we add three, at least three every single week. Uh, so you'll see those if you follow us over on our Transfer Express blog. We're always talking about the new artwork releases and how you could use them uh, and kind of what trends they relate to because we have a whole team of designers who uh, solely just pretty much focus on uh, looking at what's out there on Etsy or Old Navy or Target or any other retailer, streetwear and clothing brands. They're looking and seeing what's currently trending and we want to, to stay 
equipped uh, with those trends to help you stay relevant with your customers as well. Uh, so yeah, new artwork going in there every single week. There are hundreds of pieces of new clip art. So the layouts are more like pre-made designs that you could just double click and change. Uh, whereas the clip art are actually just little pieces of clip art, whether it be a mascot or I don't know, you're doing uh, ATV tour shirts and they need uh, a little ATV or a little motorcycle or something, right? Those are the pieces of clip art. Now, of course, uh, there are tons of brand new photos to, to be examples in there, just like this one that we see on the color of the Central Valley t-shirt. So all of those updated refresh to really match those 2024 trends uh, and essentially give you this full capability of artwork creation uh, that you could charge for. That's only going to take you seconds. I'll show you that in just a minute. Or, um, I mean, essentially just be uh, just super simple to say, hey, I'll do it for free. And that's going to differentiate you over maybe another competitor, another print shop in your area that's going to say, oh, no, no, we're not touching the order unless you send print ready files. Sorry, just not happening, right? So you could work with your customers. You could be a little bit more uh, accessible to them if they don't have artwork. And even if you don't have a graphic design degree, even if you're still paying student loans on a graphic design degree, right? <laughs> that you are able to be able uh, to help those customers out. So uh, it's really great. So they're divided. Uh, the cover is personalized with your name, no Transfer Express branding at all. And it does correspond over to that EasyView online designer. Uh, John says, yes, you could download the marketing kit idea book at easyprints.com. So you could get the full book right there. I see Mike already linking into that. So that's great. Uh, that's great conversation in the chat, man. I really like it. John, I hope uh, I hope you're coming out to the Impressions Expo again. I'd love to see you next week uh, out in Long Beach. I met John there, what, two years ago, a year ago? I don't know. These years start blending together after it. Um, but yeah, it's great to meet decorators just like yourself uh, out and just talk shop. I want to learn how I could help you out. So it's awesome. Come back, come by and stop and say, hey, and then I'll even have, I sometimes have, am I back? I think I lost the internet connection there for a little bit. Um, I am so sorry about that. We're just getting we're just getting started. Frozen, frozen. I see people saying I'm still frozen, um, but it might just be delayed here. I'm just trying to check uh, my plug, unplug, and plug back in, or something. Something's going on. Not right. Am I back? I'm back. Awesome. I lost the entire chat section, so I super apologize if I wasn't able to get to a question. Just and ask it again. Um, technical difficulties, of course, are always going to get in the way of us. So uh, as part of that idea book, thank you guys for letting me know I'm back. Uh, part of that idea book is included, or part of it, what am I talking about? This idea book is included uh, in that marketing kit. So we're going to get a little bit more into the marketing kit in just a minute, but I do want to talk about the application kit as well, right? So the application kit is brand new, revamped this year with a ton of tools uh, for frustration-free heat printing. So all this stuff is made to make, make you print easier, print faster, and print with less pulling your hair out because things aren't going your way, right? Because things are just not applying. Things are, uh, oh, there's buttons or seams and I'm melting these buttons on this onesie. This kit's going to really help you uh, get through that. So the stuff that's in here, I have one of them too, but uh, I could I could reference the photo here. The one thing I am going to hold up is that t-shirt in the back that does have... Um, does have those print locations on it. So really, really cool. I see Pam asking, will Dave be in Atlantic City? Of course. I wouldn't miss it. Of course, I'll be in Atlantic City in March as well. I don't miss it. As I, the Impressions Expos are one of my faves, so I don't I don't miss those. Uh, but so here in the application kit, you're going to see that you get posters, an application poster, and a what to use when chart. So just quick, easy reference you could put up on the walls of your shop, uh, regardless of what transfer type you're using. You could just scan and look and go, all right, cool. I know my press needs to be at 365 and boom, bump your press up to 365 or whatever it may be. Uh, over the past year, I had a really, uh, I was really fortunate to be able to go visit a ton of actual print shops. And one thing that was common in almost every single shop in their heat press department was on the wall. They had a chart of all of the applications that they use so that their operators could go, all right, I'm just switching over to another job. Now we're moving to a direct to film transfer like the Ultra Color Max. And they look up on the list and go, all right, 290 degrees. Oh, we need to back our pressure off to a medium, right? 
It just helps with easy applications, which is going to reduce your mistakes, save you time, save you money, uh, and lots of it down in the long run. Now, also in there is cover sheets. Now, they are specifically formulated paper cover sheet. They're 12 and a half by 15 inches. So they're large to, to cover large areas, uh, but they're great for when you need to decorate on an item that maybe already has a decoration close to it. And you don't want that uh, ink or that transfer to stick to the upper platen. So you just cover it with a cover sheet. They are paper. They are not coated in any wax or have any sealants on them at all. They're kind of like butcher paper, but specifically formulated for use with the heat press. So they're not going to get singed or burnt or anything. Heat presses are always, unless you're printing sublimation at high temperatures, you're not going to deal with uh, burning any paper fibers uh, on your heat press. But these are great because they are reusable. Uh, but if you do get ink on them, you got a whole pack of 10. So you throw one out and you're on to the next, right? Just pull another one right out. So it's a little uh, easy. Uh, if you, I know there's some of those silicone cover sheets or Teflon cover sheets or whatever they may be uh, that are out on the market that block a ton of heat. These do not. So while they protect the apparel from anything on the upper platen or any ink transfers here or there, they're not blocking the 10, 20, sometimes even 30 degrees of heat uh, that some of those cover sheets block. So that's going to hurt your application. If you need to use a cover sheet with any applications, a lot of the transfers we have here at Transfer Express do not require a cover sheet uh, or the carrier itself that's on the transfer acts as the cover sheet makes it nice and easy for you. Now you'll also see in there those little yellow strips. They're heat press temperature test strips. I'm gonna pull them out of my, my kit right here. We're gonna pull my kit out right here and I'll show you what these things look like because they're actually really cool and a really great inexpensive way that you can actually uh, test the temperature of your heat press as a heat transfer actually feels it, right? So I do have, I think also here at my desk, yeah, sure enough, I have one of these IR thermometers, right? So it just shoots a little laser light. It tells me exactly what temperature my hand is, which my hand right now is 93 degrees. But these are great. But that little laser that it makes, right? If you see that little laser on my hand, uh, actually is bouncing back into here for it to read the temperature. With that nonstick coating on most upper platens, the heating element of a lot of those heat presses, this is actually kind of like refracted or deflected away. So not all of it is returning. So you're going to be in a ballpark, but you could be uh, maybe 20 degrees high or low of what your press is actually reading, right? And that's really where you could get a probe thermometer, right? And that's one of the ones with like a little thing. You touch it to the, uh, the heating element and it'll tell you exactly what it's measuring at. Uh, those are, I believe when I was looking at them, they're about 200 bucks, right? These thermometers you could get on uh, on Amazon for, I think this one was like 25 or 30 bucks, right? Uh, so these are great. And uh, I mean, everybody had the old ones from the pandemic days, right? You remember that? Uh, <laughs> uh, but those don't go up to uh, the 365 degrees that you want. So these test strips, right? These uh, have little boxes on them. So they will fill in when they get to the right temperature. But the way that these things work is you actually peel them off here. They're stickers, right? So you peel them off the sheet and you put them on a piece of paper and actually close your heat press, right? Uh, and I think it's 10 seconds you leave the heat press closed for and it will light up all of these as, as filled in black marks. And that tells you exactly where your heat press range is. I believe these are all at what, five degree? No, 10 degree intervals, right? So 10 degree intervals uh, all the way through 340 up to 380. So you could test and we give you multiple ones too. So you could do uh, each corner of the heat press and one in the middle to ensure you don't have any cold spots. Now, I have actually, unfortunately, worked on a heat press, uh, a non-Hotronics heat press. It was in, it's an Amazon press, right? That does have cold spots. And you can't understand how incredibly frustrating it is that it's like, why is this not transferring? I'm doing everything right in this one little area. And maybe you start second guessing your artwork like, oh, that's a little fine area. Oh, there's some distressing there. Is that why it's not transferring? No, it's because that spot on the heat press is 50 degrees cooler than the rest of the press and it's not applying it properly. These test strips will help you diagnose that and figure it out instantly. So uh, this is these test strips are really great, right? Now, also in there is one of the biggest things I get asked for all the time, and that is a heat printing 
t-shirt ruler, right? So this you're going to use for your alignment, especially if you're just getting started. This helps you nail that center chest placement or right or left chest, right? So it has these lines that are noted on here for left chest or right chest or the center line. Uh, if you watch a lot of our videos on YouTube, or maybe you've watched some other people decorating apparel, uh, you'll hear that like the standard placement for just a center chest graphic is three fingers down from the bottom of the collar. It's about one and a half to three inches, depending on your sizing. Uh, so it's about that, right? Well, th three of my fingers is exactly what that is. So I know that three inches down or my my standard placement for a starting graphic of a, of a center chest graphic is going to start with the ink right there. This ruler is included in here. This is like a plastic. So you'll want to place it and remove it uh, before you close the press because otherwise this will stick to your press. So you don't want that mess. And then you're going to need another ruler, right? Because then it might be a little goofy or misformed. So uh, I have some of these sometimes that I give out at trade shows too. Uh, if you want an extra one, come see me at a trade show and say, Dave, I was at the webinar where you said you'd give me one of these. And if I have any left, I'll give one. I'll get one to you. Now, one of my most favorite things in this, and I made one of these uh, about two years ago for an education session at an Impressions Expo, but it was one of these standard placement and sizing t-shirts. So I just printed some boxes on a t-shirt, right? And well, a lot of people said, I would love that. I would love to be able to show it to my customers. So I've got one right here from the kit. And this is exactly what it is. So you get an actual t-shirt that has sizing. So you could see what an 11 by 11 inch graphic looks like on that. You could see that max sizing of four and a half by four and a half inches aligned right with where that left chest print location should be. Even if you want to, you, you kind of have your own graphic printed out, or maybe you have your, your transfers on hand and you just want to know how far down from the collar that it should sit. So you could just measure it and be able to do it. It has that center line right on the garment. Now, the best thing about this, say you're doing a lot of sleeve prints, right? Ultra color max, you could order just another little dotted line and put it on the sleeve print. Say I want to print three by three inches on the sleeve, or maybe you want to print your own upper back or show your customers the back print. We've got you started with the basic 90% of the t-shirts I've ever printed in my entire life fit in one of these three locations, right? But this is an incredible resource to have on hand, whether you're designing t-shirts, you're planning t-shirts, or your customer says like, yeah, I want that like 15 inches wide on the front. I want it huge. And you're like, hey, 11 inches is more of what I'm doing. They're like, wow, uh, my sizing was way off. Uh, yeah, 11 inches looks plenty big uh, on that t-shirt. Because you have to remember that like this 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 part of the garment here, right? Like this, this part of this garment is actually on the side of the body. Look how much is on the side, you know? So uh, this is where my shoulder seam is, is up here. So like, I mean, we've got we've got a lot of room there on the side. So you want to make sure that's not falling off and your customer is going to be wowed and not be like, I don't know. This this looks like a like a clown shirt. It's huge. Like I don't know what's going on with it, right? So you could better serve your customers, even if they think uh, they know what they want. As that pro decorator, you're able to solve it, and that's what it's going to keep those customers coming back to you. That you have the advice. You say uh, that hey, I don't know what t-shirt. I don't know what t-shirt blank to to use. And you're like, well, this is one that I've been really trending. I really love the next level thirty six hundred. It's a nice fitted style. And they're like, yes, that's it. I trust you. And then bam, right? They're going to come back because you wowed them last time. So um, let's get these slides back up because that's the application kit. Now it does include $10 off as well. Uh, and there's a mouse pad in there too that I didn't even mention, which is essentially just a, uh, a blank mouse pad. These are made for sublimation, but it doesn't have any dyes or inks in the top side here. So none of it's going to transfer to your garments. But this is great because you could use it to raise print areas. So you'll put it under, say, like a hoodie if you want to isolate that pocket seam so you don't have any seams or collars in the way. If you're doing left chests for polos or something like that, or even onesies, right, it's great to be able to raise the printing area without having to buy uh, those interchangeable platens. Don't get me wrong absolutely love those interchangeable platens. But if you're only doing, uh, you know, 12 onesies, you're not going to go buy a four by four platen for a hundred bucks or so uh, to be able to print those hoodies. That's going to cut into your profitability. This is included. It's in your kit. Uh, and if you need more of them, they're only about three bucks from Transfer Express here. Uh, or you could buy huge packs of them on Amazon uh, for probably right around that, like $2 mark or something, if you want to buy a whole bunch of them in bulk. Uh, but these are great because then you could even cut them up. Say you just have a pocket tee and you want to print on the inside of the pocket. You could cut a, a shape of the exact pocket, drop it into that pocket and be able to print on those seamlessly and easy uh, with that nice 
firm pressure uh, that a lot of those screen printed or even hybrid, the digital screen print transfers do require. So a uh, mouse pad in there as well. So that's the market. That's the application kit, right? But we also have the marketing kit. And that's where that idea book uh, was uh, included in there. You could see that one in there with that Central Valley sitting right in the box. Uh, but this marketing kit we call your t-shirt business in a box, right? So all this stuff comes in there. Full-size display transfers, color selector, swatch book. You get a $15 off coupon your next order. There's a t-shirt that you could start decorating right away. Um, there is just so much in here that's really going to help you sell. So much so that it's going to take a, a little bit to get through um, all of it. And I'm sure that uh, if you're really interested in it, uh, you could go see the full breakdown of what, what's in the kit over on our YouTube page. But it does include, number one, I think the cost of it alone is worth that idea book to be able to browse through with your customers and easily find them solutions for their artwork needs. That's something that's immediately, whether you're just getting started, that's going to set you apart in the industry, right? So something really good to keep in mind right there. There is a price guide in there, right? So a larger version of that price guide that we got for free, easy to reference, be able to break it down for everything that you need to do. There are I think 18 or 20 full size display transfers in that kit that correspond to every single one of those images that are in that idea book. So like that Central Valley, uh, let me grab, let me grab my kit right here again, that Central Valley idea book that, or that shirt that's on there. Yep. Sure enough, you get that actual transfer. So it looks like all of this work, you have the actual samples that you're presenting to somebody as they're browsing through the artwork catalog. It truly looks like you've been in business for 10 plus years and have spent hundreds of uh, maybe even thousands of dollars uh, on putting this whole marketing kit together. When in all reality, this is your solution that you could bring to your customer. Uh, and all of this is not hundreds of thousands of dollars for you. Uh, it could make you that much money uh, as you use it throughout the year. Now, the color selector swatch book, I don't think I have one. Ooh, I have an old one here, right? But this really helps when you're doing those plastisol screen printed transfers because it does vary from screen. The colors that you see on screen are always not what you're going to see in, in real life. So if you want to be sure uh, that you are able to uh, be using the right the right color, when, especially when you're doing like a tone on tone, like if I'm going to do like a gray on a gray, I'm probably going to stay away from this one right here and go to the darker one. That might be really hard to judge when you're looking at a non-color calibrated monitor, right? Colors are always going to differ. So this one right here, this is a $20 uh, little booklet because this is real Pellon fabric with real, our real goof proof screen printed Plastisol ink on it. So it takes 102 physical screen printing screens and a whole bunch of work to put this kit together or this little, uh, this little color selector swatch book. You can see that this one doesn't look like the one that's in the kit just because it has an old cover on it. This is from a previous year. Um, I need to get, I need to get a, a new marketing kit, right? I just have the idea book. I, I need to get a new one. Um, and so, uh, all that stuff is in there. That color selector swatch book is 20 bucks. Uh, that idea book by itself is, is 15, 20 bucks. So, uh, the, the potential of both of those reducing the mistakes and making sure that you could give those customers those solutions, as well as all of the display transfers, you get a free t-shirt that you could immediately start printing and a tote bag that says, ask me about custom apparel. So already you're advertising all your stuff. And of course, just like the application kit, you get, well, you get more than the application. You get, you get $15 off coupon right here. Um, and so it's really, really great to be able to turn around and say, all right, let's start making some samples uh, and ordering custom transfers. And they're already covered, right? Now, new for this year, this is something that we've been talking about for a really long time because this marketing kit has truly helped a lot of apparel decorators market in real life. But we know in this increasingly digital world, we wanted to find a way to help you in the digital world as well. So new for 2024, not only has this kit completely been revamped with brand new artwork, brand new styles, brand new samples, your brand new showroom, right, of all of the different transfer types we offer, but now it's going to help you market online too with an entire portal of digital assets that's available to you uh, pretty much immediately when you buy. So the first thing that you're going to see in that digital asset guide is mock-ups. So just like this one, they are lifestyle mock-ups. This obviously for a school with an apple and a little composition book, uh, but these are going to be updated seasonally. So you'll see some drop uh, 
probably in the spring, you'll see more baseball ones come in, right? As people are doing more baseball apparel. In the summer, look for tank tops, maybe some soccer jerseys or something like that. In uh, in the fall, look for hoodies coming in, maybe some jackets, some outerwear, right? So all of these actually professionally shot, excuse me, all of these professionally shot photos uh, are available to you for download and upload to easily mock up your artwork over in uh, the online designer. Uh, Carol asks, uh, did I miss the price for the application kit and the marketing kit? Um, yes. So marketing kit for 40 is going to be a show special, which I have coming up in just a little bit. It looks like Mike's Mike's been been talking about it at the special uh, special price for everybody here live with us on the webinar. It regularly is 55 bucks. So we're taking $15 off. It's going to cover shipping. And you're going to get $15 back. So uh, an absolute screaming deal. Uh, before you even see these these digital assets and how this is going to help you sell, everything's tied together. Really cool stuff. So you have all these new mockups that I'll show you how to use in just a minute here in the Easy View Online Designer. So I'm actually going to go into the portal and show you everything that you could get here uh, with this. So you also get marketing flyers, digital use marketing flyers that either have pre-made layouts on it, just like this one that you see. So if you just want to try to start getting people inspired and say like, hey, here's some ideas. So it's just essentially taking that idea book or you could custom create them for your own customers so they could sell too. Say you're working for a school uh, and I have a great baseball example coming up uh, where we could actually show you like you could easily mock up a whole bunch of different options and say like, coming soon or uh, tell us which one you want. And they're not labeled with the easy prints layout. So they could be like, oh, I love that, that one in the middle. And now you're pre-selling apparel for your customers or for your business, for your spirit sale, your store, your brand, whatever it is, which is going to be putting profit in your pocket, especially when you're doing this with mock-ups and these digital assets uh, that don't cost money to produce, right? Like a t-shirt, if you're going to make a sample of a t-shirt, you have to pay for the, the, the decoration method on it, as well as the blank itself, right? So when you're able to agilely create these as digital assets that look great, be able to share them on social media, your product page, or your online store, uh, community forums, wherever it may be, share them via email with your customers, you could convert and sell without making a physical sample or anything like that. And so I always say, mock-ups sell, right? I In my graphic design career, it's so easy to show somebody a design. And they're like, yeah, cool. It looks awesome. You bring their entire thought process and their idea and their vision to life by putting it on apparel. And they go, instead of just being like, yeah, it looks pretty cool, man. Thanks. They go, oh, my God, I need that. I don't care how much it costs. I'm going to give you my money now, right? And that's what we want. Uh, that's what we want to invoke with these mock-ups and stuff. So uh, I'll show you how these flyer templates work here in just a minute. Now, there is also a uh, a uh, sample order form here too. If you're just getting started or maybe you haven't really like like formalized your ordering process, the sample order form is gonna help you uh, put print locations down, write order notes, do some quick quoting with that price guide that you've got, right? So you could do quick quoting, get the customer information down there and also uh, make sure that you could check off, yes, they've paid or they're gonna pay on uh, when I deliver these or whatever it may be. Shirt, shirt color, shirt style, your layouts, your ink colors, your different sizing, the pricing for each one of those, uh, and then a total pricing. So it is really, really great uh, to put all together and have this order form in there. I'll show you where it is uh, up in the portal as well. So just like this, the social media promo assets, you could use the same exact photos that are featured in the idea book. Uh, in that, that artwork guide, there are these professionally taken photos that are ready to be used by you on social media or uh, wherever your website, even if you want to put them up there to show as examples of the work that you could do. My favorite part of this is that I've talked to so many decorators who are like, man, I know somebody who blew up on TikTok or like my buddy's shop. They're doing really good. They make silly little TikTok videos or they just post the shirts that they're working on. Like, I don't really have time to do that. There are videos of almost every single one of the examples and the samples, the, the full-size display transfers, right, that are included in that marketing kit. There are videos, short form, vertical video reels that you could instantly just post to Instagram and say, hey, pickleballers, I'm printing for pickleball. Get your custom merch ready to go, right? So it is a full marketing plan, both digitally and in the real world that's going to set your business apart against your competition or anybody else. Now, of course, I think I saw Don talking about it earlier, right? 
that there is a digital uh, kit that you could get from easyprints.com. This one also allows you a completely unbranded version to download a PDF of it as well. Um, we see our easyprints.com mentioned right here. You guys are fantastic and already got a little bit ahead of me uh, on that, but there is no pricing on that, no branding whatsoever. So your customers don't know Transfer Express exists. All they know is these are solutions that you've put together to help them, right? So now you're using these to streamline your sales process. Hey, don't have artwork? No problem. I'm, I want to work with you and I want to be able to get you artwork that you're going to be wowed about, right? So Really, really cool stuff right in here. So before I jump on to our next session, or our next section, I should say, I want to jump over to transferexpress.com. Just show you that. Um, I saw Mike did uh, throw that, that link to the combo kit right there in the chat. Um, so that is an absolute steal. So $40 for the marketing kit or combo, $75. So you get the application kit. That's with the t-shirt ruler and that sizing emplacement printed t-shirt. Uh, that you could add on to the mouse pad, those heat press test strips, uh, and then everything in this marketing kit, including including these digital assets, uh, is just uh, seventy five bucks for both of it. You're gonna get twenty five bucks, right? Fifteen bucks in the marketing kit and ten bucks back to your account. So it's really fifty bucks that you're that you're paying on this. Like for all of that, man, that's I don't know how we do it. It's a steal. Uh, and usually we only do this for the show special. That's all we need to do. Um, Kathy says, use the drop down arrow to get me, get the combo. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, you're talking to a different David. I thought you were talking to me, Kathy. Kathy, we met at the Impressions Expo in Fort Worth two years ago, three years ago, maybe two years ago. Um, but we love, well, love seeing Kathy and, and her husband down there. Uh, they do absolutely fine work decorating. Uh, and, uh, and you know, it's great to hear the solutions, the customer journey that they, they have, uh, they've, they've brought their customers on and they're able to service them and all of the capabilities uh, and uh, hanging out in education too. Kathy provided so many great answers in one of the education sessions uh, on site. And it's great. I love when decorators participate because uh, it's just, it's awesome to hear. I love the community. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. So uh, let's, let's go over and screen share. All right, let's stop getting sentimental, Dave. Let's, uh, let's get back to learning. <laughs> I do get floored. I do get floored all the time by, uh, by just the, the outpouring of support from the entire decorating industry, especially because we're all uh, in this global economy we live in, we're kind of all in competition with each other, but it's, it's such a great display at these shows where, uh, you know, decorators in the same state or even on the other side of the country are saying like, hey, oh, I do this and this simplified it for me. Oh, you're looking to hire somebody. This is the service that I used. Or these were some of the questions that I asked. Or, hey, do you know that you're making this much money? Do you already have it planned ahead? Like all of these wheels going and you hear great conversations between decorators. Uh, and I love being a part of it. I love hearing from you guys. So here, we are here at transferexpress.com. If you purchased a marketing kit, you could go up here. This would say your account. My account is sample orders, right? So you could go right here and click on digital marketing kit. You'll see this option be available after you purchase a kit. And this is going to take you over here to our digital asset portal. So this is what it looks like. There's my little hand going if you see this video playing on the portal as well. So you do have the digital idea book right here. Oh, this is a, this might, might, I'm streaming right now. And obviously we've already seen with the freeze up that my internet's uh, possibly a little sketchy today. It is, it's been windy and we've gotten some winter weather. So I don't have any windows in my office, so I can't tell you if it, what it looks like outside. <laughs> but uh, hopefully we're not going to have any problem when we jump into easy view online designer. So you have your stock and staged blank apparel mock-ups all right here. And I see as this is loading up, Marsha asks, can I put the marketing info in an email? Uh, you absolutely can. So you absolutely can get a, uh, uh, you could download all of these mock-ups and stuff. You could screenshot stuff, put them in an email to your customers and be able to email them. I'll show you here in just a minute because here's some of these lifestyle mock-ups. Look at that. To kick the year off, the skiing, just a regular worn t-shirt. Uh, you have these folded ones, a little lifestyle. Ooh, hoops. That's pretty cool. I might use that one in just a little bit here. And something just kind of more basic with white. So new colorways getting added uh, seasonally, as well as some seasonal styles. So yeah, I, with no baseball ones in here, almost betcha that the baseball ones are going to be coming very, very soon. So this little video here is going to show you how to use the digital assets if you missed this webinar or if you're away printing t-shirts right now and can't exactly watch. Uh, but that's always going to be there. Of course, we are always here to help 
all the time, right? Just reach out uh, anytime we're here to help. So here's our flyer templates. So one thing that I, I was telling you about that I really, really loved, right, is these flyer templates. Here's the ones here that are already pre-made. So if you just want to help your customers out and go, hey, I know you're looking to do some spirit wear. Here's a little flyer. Just send them the spirit wear. They could go browse easyprints.com right now if they want to, right? And they could tell you, oh, no, that one in the middle. I think it's QSL uh, 291. Is that the one? Uh, that's the one that I want to use. And then you could easily pull this layout up into Easy View Online Designer and be able to uh, edit that because they're not, they're probably not going to be YHS. It's going to be some other high school, right? So you're able to just double click and change all of that information <clears throat> super easily. My favorite thing, though, are these blank ones right here. So you could actually put your own artwork on it and allow them to, uh, to, to see your designs and be able to buy them. So like what I would do with this one, uh, it looks like holiday is spelled wrong. So we're going to get that fixed. We'll get that fixed for you. <laughs> um, but here, so with this one, you could drop a whole bunch of different artwork on here, whether it be for your own brand, maybe your customers, anything like that, be able to drop them all right here on these layouts and be able to advertise it. Social media, your own website, uh, put it in an email. If you're running an email list and promoting things, there's a few in here. So like basketball spirit wear, if you're doing basketball um, and even baseball. So we got baseball and softball designs coming up. <clears throat> and you could always crop these off too when you download them out. Just uh, you don't want it to say find more at Easy Prints or you want to put your own logo in there or something. Uh, you absolutely could kind of cover that up with a little white box even and be able to stretch that. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute as we go through these. But you could see there's there's all of these ones either as, uh, hey, these are some of the, the artwork and layout examples that I could do for you. Or you could design just say this is just for one school, right? It's the high school down the street and you want to give them six options to see which ones parents and kids want to buy before they actually buy them. Where's the interest generated? Now you have the tools to just easily give your customers that. So how cool is that, right? I love these digital assets. I think they're the coolest thing um, and to really help you out. So we're going to go back. Maybe it's loading. I'm just going to go back a whole bunch of times now. Obviously, the Internet's not cooperating with me today. And with that, I, uh, I do apologize. Or maybe not. There we go. We'll get through. I'll go through the chat. Um, just purchase. Where do you find this part that Dave is talking? So, uh, yeah, if you missed it, we are right here at TransferExpress.com. If you click on sample, uh, it says sample orders here. But that's my account. That's the name of my account. Uh, but it'll say your name up here, the name of your account. Just go down here, Digital Marketing Kit. It's going to kick you right on over to our uh, our asset portal here. So in here, we have the digital version of all those tools and guides, including uh, the video on how to use all of these assets, the perfect pressure guide. So this is if you are using a mouse pad to raise the printing area, maybe you're using an 11 by 15 platen. This is going to tell you a conversion rate for what your pressure should be set at because the smaller the print area, the higher the pressure is per square inches on it. Very much like a high heeled shoe, right? If I stand on a tile with my uh, the surface area of my foot taking all of my weight, that's fine. If I wear a high heel shoe and put all my weight right on that tiny little uh, quarter inch by quarter inch stiletto heel, my body weight's going to crack the tile. That's kind of exactly how the pressure uh, guide works. The platen, the upper platen in any pressure readouts on Hotronics presses are thinking that there is the full surface area below it. So when you start removing areas, it's going to start pushing harder on those areas. You might see some press ma marks. Uh, you might see some scorching. You might see some uh, thin spreading ink that looks a little blobby. It's because you're overpressured. So this guide's in here to really help you out. All the super handy stuff in here, of course, that order form that we were looking at earlier, uh, the pricing guide, image sizes. I hand this one out all the time, but just these, these general image sizes for use and legs and sleeves and hearts and caps and all that stuff, all right in here, as well as a, a small little application guide. This is very, very similar to that uh, large poster that's included in the application kit, but this one's not printed out and just a digital guide, right? So um, we're going to pull on back out. And I believe we just have one little section here is those social media promo assets that I was talking about a little bit earlier. So just like we saw on the cover, let me grab my, my idea book right here, right? So Central Valley, right? Central Valley. Now, right here, I don't know. I'm hoping this is going to play while I am live streaming on a webinar. Uh, this is definitely, hey, it works, right? So you have vertical real format video of this exact example, along with a whole bunch of others 
that are in here uh, that are featured in this idea book. I wonder if I could just could just go through. Look at that. First page of the book, Miller, family reunion, right? And we got it right here in the kit that this one loads up. Sure enough, right there that you could use these assets, whether you want to just upload them and put them side by side with you printing in your shop and saying, hey, look, it's coming up. Or you're trying to decorate for school spirit wear or maybe basketball jerseys, football jerseys, right? <clears throat> hey, just throw a little caption over this in, in TikTok or Instagram and say, now doing now taking orders for football season, right? Put that in there. Show yourself printing them or other examples of stuff you've printed. Man. It is awesome. Jasmine says, Dave, you have to wear stilettos now in Atlantic City. <laughs> okay, maybe I might. Maybe I might. It sounds like sounds like sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, we have too much fun here. And I, I do appreciate you guys hanging out. Um let's see. Uh the pressure guide is free. So Takina Morris, uh, yes, the pressure guide is available. Uh, it's uh, in the help section on our website. Uh, it does just uh, the digital asset kit. We just kind of bundled all of it up. So you don't have to go looking around Google search and just bundle them all up right in there as well. But if you want to go find that guide, I believe it is somewhere. Mike might be able to link it in if he could find it as well. So all of this, these digital assets, all of this kit is available for you to use. So let's just hop over to Easy View Online designer real quick. Now we're over at transferexpress.com. Uh, I do have, uh, I'm just going to click over here because I did set up some examples here of just some baseball layouts, right? So here we're designing in the online designer. Uh, say we just want to change some of this stuff over. If it's if it's going to work for me, please work for me. Um, my internet is fighting me and we know Easy View. Easy View is an online browser-based software. Uh, so you don't have to use any high-powered computers. You don't need that MacBook. You could use a Chromebook. You could use an, uh, an iPad, a tablet, your phone. Uh, anywhere that you have an internet connection, you have access to this powerful design software. But just like this, like so if this is Eagles baseball, let me just change the background here to be a little bit darker. So you could do all this. Uh, I'm not going to go super in depth into the tools here in the Easy View Online Designer because we do webinars all the time and they go like two hours alone by themselves. Just talking about Easy View Online Designer. But I do want to show you how to use these assets, right? <clears throat> so Easy View 2, if you are brand new, I'm just going to edit this layout. Let's just say this is Panthers. So you could easily just, just type and it changes the text if you need it to be spaced apart or you want it a little bit closer together. You have all of these controls, right? Uh, this obviously is an eagle right now. So I could just click replace clip art, click on clip art and search what? Panther, I think we said, wildcat pa panther. So we'll grab our little panther right here and it's going to swap it out immediately. And then we could just resize design, like say if we want to bring this to the top so it overlaps everything, we sure can, right? So like we have these controls. If we want to knock out, because uh, he kind of blends in a little bit there, we'll click on them, click uh, add touching outline, and just make that outline thicker. So you can see that outline is growing on the outside. I'm just going to change it to no ink, so it's going to knock it down. So now it knocks all of that away uh, behind that. So how quick and easy is that to just literally change this layout to meet your customer's needs? When they say like, yeah, I want that one. And now you're able to just easily edit it within a couple seconds. That's why I'm saying you could use this as a tool that you don't charge your customers. It's just a value. It's a service that you add uh, over what your other competitors are. We call that differentiators, right? Or value propositions in the business. If you're into marketing like I am, right? So, <laughs> so all of this right here. And then we always know that you could go here to just the mock-up tab. There is a full catalog of apparel in here of model shots and stuff like that, but there's none of those uh, fancy layouts or anything like that. So uh, if we wanted to use that, we're just going to click up with my own. And we're going to go on over. It's going to pull up my downloads folder right here. I'm going to select this, and I, I don't think you guys could see it. You just see the window. But essentially, I'm just in my uh, little file explorer. I just grabbed that baseball blank uh, flyer that we pulled up. And I'm really hoping this one pulls in um, just because I know my Internet's been challenging here today. And the upload speed, I'm streaming to you right now. Uh, so I'm trying to upload to the website as well as we're coming in. So fingers crossed. Boom, it pulls in right there. So this is automatically going to throw a watermark on it, but I could turn that off, right? So I have all of my layouts that I just had on my page, and now I'm just going to scale these up a little bit, but I'm going to take these and start dragging and dropping them around. So now I could lay these out and look at me building with my custom artwork. I just made this Panthers baseball layout, right? So all of this, I'm able to drop out, and now you have this to show your 
customers to say, and say, if you're wanting to pitch a school, right? You want to pitch a school with some different styles. Oh yeah. Let's do some raglins like this one. Uh, let's do a baseball shirt or maybe like a, I think that's like two button down or something, right? You could put these to be their actual bait, their actual name, their ass, actual mascots, right? And show them these options, right? Even if you're just getting started, you have zero design capabilities. You don't need Canva. You don't need Kittle. You don't need to pay subscriptions for any of that because all that is cutting into your profit margin. You're trying to grow your business. You're trying to make more money. And now with just a couple clicks online, zero subscription, we are able to put these resources together and be able to sell more apparel. Super powerful stuff, right? Really, really, uh, I'm really, really excited about all of these digital assets. And like I mentioned, they are brand new to the marketing kit this year, and they will be added on to uh, seasonally. So uh, uh, four times a year or so, <clears throat> as the seasons change, you'll see based on sports or interests, uh, probably some music festival stuff. I don't know, some stuff. I'm just throwing out ideas for our creative team if they are, if they're watching, right? Wink. <laughs> Jasmine says, yes, it's super helpful for a few school prospects I want to go after. Yeah. So that's exactly what it is. It's built to help you out, help you succeed, and help you sell more apparel. Uh, let's fire up our slides back again. I'm going to jump back in. Like I said, I, we're going to jump back and forth between the slides. <clears throat> Excuse me. we will jump back and forth between the slides and some screen cap recordings uh, or some screen sharing here too. So uh, that was that easyprints.com that we talked about. Now, of course, real ink, real fast, real Plastisol ink screen printed transfers apply in just four seconds, right? So um, I know not new, but new to some people. So uh, it was Printing United that I uh, was out in Atlanta, Georgia for one of our trade shows in um, October of last year. And I had a gentleman come up to me and be like, what did you just do? Because that looks like screen printing. Um, but you did it with a heat press. What is it? Because he had been using direct film transfers for two, three years since they've been out. And we talked about screen printed transfers, right? They're the real ink look and feel just like you find at retail stores, all without the hassle of uh, the setup that usually makes the minimum quantity higher, right? The minimum quantity for these is just six. So they're soft. They're light. They don't feel like a digital print. They feel like real screen printed plastisol ink because that's exactly what it is. Um, they do have a very, very fast turnaround. So if you order by noon, they ship out the next business day. That is noon uh, Eastern time if you're in Eastern. But we do have a facility on the West Coast as well. So um, we have kind of two shipping time zones. Uh, and your order will either be fulfilled from our Ohio facility, where I am right now, uh, or our Chandler, Arizona facility right outside of Phoenix, right? So uh, we have two screen printing facilities so that we can ensure that where regardless of where you are in the United States, it's never going to be more than two days in transit uh, to you. So super, we call it our speedy air shipping. Uh, so it's going to get to you fast. Now, uh, not only do they ship fast, they apply as one of the fastest heat transfer applications I have ever seen, right? Uh, and I know four seconds is about the time it takes to pull a squeegee if you're screen printing, right? But you had to spend all the time burning the screens, registering to make sure all the colors are right, possibly even mixing the ink colors yourself, finding the right durometer, setting your off contact, making sure your screen uh, has the right uh, uh, tension on it. Otherwise, it's going to be bad prints and you're going to be smearing ink everywhere. You can tell I've, I've, me and screen printing have a long history together. <laughs> I still love the art form of it, but when I'm looking to make money, I go to the heat press more times than not. Uh, and by more times than not, uh, I couldn't tell you the last time I pulled a squeegee that wasn't for a video on comparing screen printing with screen printed transfers on the uh, YouTube channel. Go ahead and check that one out. Um, but that's the last time that I actually like pulled a squeegee to make a print. Um, so fast application, they apply in four seconds as a one color print. Or if you have a two color print, like we see me applying right here on this beautiful Lane 7 hoodie, uh, that is just a 10 second press. So still, when you're talking about if I was screen printing that, that's uh, equal to the time it's going to take me to pull a squeegee, especially 10 seconds. That's switching it over uh, and pulling two squeegees and doing uh, the, the stroked flip. Like, it's, it's just as efficient with screen printing, except you don't need the learning curve. You don't need the experience. You don't need the room for a huge screen printing setup, for dryers, uh, for storing inks or emulsions or a dark room where I used to tell my girlfriend, again, now my wife, you cannot go in the bathroom. I have screens drying right now. 
or they're being exposed. And if you open the door, it's going to expose them. It was the only interior room without light. Obviously, I didn't have this office that didn't have windows, right? So, <laughs> but all of these hassles of trying to operate uh, and trying to decorate apparel in an apartment or a small house, uh, it makes it nearly impossible. With the heat press, you don't need any of that. Set it up in a closet, a spare bedroom, uh, anywhere that you could fit the heat press, you would be able to decorate apparel in. Right. So also this, uh, they all come on gang sheets and I, I, I thought I had a gang sheet here that I could, that I could show you, but essentially a multiple grouping of artwork all on one sheet. I do see one. I'm going to be right back in just one second. I'm still with you guys. I'm just grabbing a gang sheet. If you still heard me as I walked away, this is a gang sheet, right? So we have two of the same logo along with inside tags. So now instead of having to buy double the amount of sheets, say we needed 50 total shirts, right? I only have to buy 25 sheets. It's going to cut my print cost down and it's going to help me maximize my profit. Now, it doesn't have to be all the same art. You see that's a tag print for an XL, a small, a medium, and a large, whatever it may be. It doesn't have to be the same artwork. It just has to be the same color to keep those costs low. So you notice all those inks were the same blue. But say you're printing white ink and you have three different customers who are like, well, I just want a little left chest. I want a full center chest. And somebody else is like, well, we're just doing some in like some small branding or a sleeve print or something. You can fit all of those customers' artwork all on the same page. They all share the cost of the sheet, which then you are marking up and really making profit, right? So uh, if you do have any files, essentially you could send us a napkin sketch with these screen printed transfers and we will bring it to life. We have an entire creative team uh, dedicated to uh, making sure your artwork's going to look good if you do need help with, say, like digital transfers. But with our screen printed transfers, all of that file help, all of the proofing is completely included uh, in the cost of those transfers. So as we talk about screen printed transfers, right, they are some of my favorite. Uh, I'm just going to let you in on a little secret, okay? If you haven't guessed it looking at the slide, we've got 14 new colors of Plastisol screen printed puff transfers coming down the line uh, in just a few short weeks. Uh, so very, very soon. I'm not going to tell you an exact date yet, uh, but very, very soon. Uh, I have seen all of these transfers and the colorways. We're working on some designs with them now. I was just playing around and feeling them this morning. Uh, big, nice, dimensional. Dimensional popped up as a trend maybe last year, two years ago. Um, and we thought it was, it kind of always kind of goes up and down and up and down. But Dimensional has really stuck around with that kind of like 90s retro, the early 2000s, they call it the Y2K. Um, and even now with like that kind of like Barbie style, uh, Dimensional and Puff Inks have remained incredibly popular. So you guessed it, 14 new colors, including the black and white. And these will be able to be combined uh, with pretty much any other uh, goof proof color. So if you want it to be white puff and a, a pink um, graphic to color, you absolutely can make it happen. Pink puff and uh, white, just regular flat ink, you can make it happen. It's all available. Uh, so that'll be one thing to keep an eye out uh, to, to to look into the, uh, the future here for those puff. Uh, I see there uh, that Kathy does ask, uh, can you show again how you got the designs put onto the flyer? Yes, I sure can, Kathy. Um, let me just back up one second and do that before we move on to the next one. Now, the next one whew, is, is one of the things I'm most excited about here in 2024. Um, so let me go back to my, I think this is it. This is the right screen. All right, we should see the digital asset kit. So we went down here. We grabbed those flyer temp templates, Kathy, down here. Uh, so we grab these blank ones. You'll see that there's four blank ones. Four of these are already made. So in here, what I did is in my edit menu, I just went and added a whole bunch of artwork. Now, this is mostly just like layouts that are unedited, but I just staged in here. But what you could do is say, if you're just working on one, you save it out by itself. And then you could easily just add by clicking add. It's going to open your entire category of everything you have saved to be able to just drop it into the same artboard. So I just dropped all these into the same artboard. And then I went over to mock-up and it's already here already with me, but I just clicked upload my own and upload my own allows you to upload them. Um, I don't know why, but the uh, little file explorer is not showing up. It's just showing the window. Uh, but essentially, yeah, I just click the, uh, the, the file that I downloaded from that portal and it's going to upload right in here. And then I just grab one, each one of these individually uh, and just move them to the shirts where I want them to go. 
We can move that one there. Let's say let's grab this Panthers baseball and throw it on over here. So you can easily just grab all of these, move them all around, uh, and just drag and drop them as you want. And resize them if you need be. Uh, whatever you want to do, it's all available here. Just And that's using the, uh, the mock-up tool to just be able to drop those. So, uh, Kathy, I hope I answered that question there for you. Um, let's see. Caitlin says, will you be offering custom designs in the puff? So absolutely. So Caitlin, all of those designs uh, available here in the online designer. Uh, if you could see down here at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen is print method. I don't know why it's cut off on the screen um, a little bit, but it says screen print and that says goof proof. So if you click on that, you could go screen print and you could click puff, right? So now I just changed this over to puff. So if I wanted to make any of these ink colors say like puff, you'll just see puff colors start to come in so we could change this over and that's going to be a puff ink transfer then so uh yes all of those the custom artwork will be available to be ordered uh with those puff transfers and the new colors those will be in there um marcia says can we edit the find more at easyprints.com um so you cannot but you could crop that off so uh even like windows uh windows picture viewer allows you to crop so if you want to crop that off uh and if that's something that you guys uh don't want on there or you just want blank space we'll go ahead and upload ones into that portal that say nothing on the bottom of them or like inquire about more whatever you want uh even if you wanted to add uh so if we go back here to the, this mock-up we could add a box. So let's just see how you could like easily take it off. I'm just going to say add clip art, go to basic shapes. Let's just grab one of these squares. Um, and I'm going to resize. I'm going to click the resize proportionally to make it a little bit more uh, like this. So I'm just going to place this on my artboard. Let's make it, uh, I don't know, uh, let's do puff white as this like, but we could do like a beige or a cream or something like that to try to match that background. Let's just say, you know what, natural. Um <clears throat> And then if you wanted to do any text, like uh, let's just say uh, email for a quote. Of course, I would stylize this if I was going to do this uh, for a real customer, but I'm just showing you guys how to make this happen. Now, of course, if you are brand new, maybe I will show you how to stylize it a little bit. I'm just going to, we'll just drop this one right on there. I'm going to change this from Arial to something a little bit more decorative. Maybe that might match. I don't remember what fonts are on there. But we'll just drop that one right there. Go back on right on over to our mock-up, right? And now I could grab that email for a quote and just size this appropriately, right? And just drop it on the bottom. So you could kind of cover things up based on, on the color if I wanted to make that maybe a blue, right? I can make it a blue box. I could scale this proportionately uh, to just knock that out. So now it says email for a quote, right? And then I would just place all my artwork again, just drop it all on all these, uh, and then be able to to have that there. So if you want it to say whatever you want, uh, even if we wanted to change this color to that that blue or something, let's just say, uh, yeah, let's try it. What do you say? Let's make it look pretty. This is the time to be interactive. And I appreciate you guys asking these questions because it's great. Uh, it's going to help everybody. I always say, like, if you have a question, odds are somebody else has that same question, right? Whoop. Let's click on this. Let's actually change this color over to that white. Uh, and then we can see how this looks when we mock up. Go back here. Yep, sure enough. Email for quote. Look how great that looks, right? So completely cover that up. Email for quote looks really pro. Maybe even it would look pro if we put it in a script in tail. But now we could drop all of these here, right? Or you could have that say coming soon. Whatever it may be, you have the customization at your fingertips. Again, subscription free. So no Adobe Creative Cloud, no learning, uh, watching YouTube for uh, two weeks to try to learn how to uh, ungroup things in Illustrator or whatnot. No, don't have to do it. Don't have to learn about it. And I will say that you probably learn Illustrator within a week if you really, really try. But to be a master and be efficient at it and be uh, quick, time is money, right? Uh, it, uh, it's been 20 years for me, and I still think I have room to, room to grow. <laughs> I think I'm pretty proficient. <laughs> Uh, with that. So Kathy, uh, let me know if that answered the question for you. I really hope it did. Oh, she says, thank you. I see it now as I went back to the chat. So being able to do that. Um, so the Priscilla had the question, how would you split it between regular and puff? Before I go back to our slideshow, uh, this is it. So it's just colors being selected. So uh, my pricing is not going to give me a price at all because uh, my designs go outside the surface area. But essentially, so this one is puff. If I wanted eagles, this, this eagles one to be puff, I just select puff. All the other ones are going to be regular flat. So this one's still being white ink, right? 
This one's just regular white. So if you scroll over all of these at the bottom, it'll say, okay, I have white ink. I have puff white. Oh man, the little help hints don't even show up on the screen recording. Man, we're going to have to figure out a new way to do this. Because like, if you hover over, over these where my mouse is at the bottom, the colors in use, it will say, it'll, it'll pop up a little hint over top of it as you hover and say, this is black. This is puff white. This is puff, puff black. Just like how these are named right here. So just color them uh, and you could combine those colors however you want on those. Um, so awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, great. Let's go back on over to our slides and we'll, we'll get to, we'll get to the one that I was talking about being the most excited about, right? So this one, so super cool. I had the pleasure of getting hands on with this unit at Printing United in October when we first announced it. And it is the Pro Place IQ. So essentially, uh, above the dual air fusion, there are two projector units that could be integrated with uh, shop management software like Fulfill Engine, uh, or they will be available connected to the Hotronics cloud. So you could just upload PNGs, tell tell us that, oh, I this needs to be 11 inches wide, and I want it in a center chest print location, and it's going to project it on the platen in the right spot, as long as you're loading that shirt onto the platen correctly, the placement is figured out for you. So we call it the Pro Place IQ. You could perfectly align any design every time. Those tricky left chest placements, you actually see the actual image and then you line up the transfer to the light and it's locked in where it needs to go. Uh, it is the absolute newest innovation in heat printing technology that's going to help you print more efficiently, uh, print faster, reduce those misprints, and reduce those spoilage rates, which is going to maximize your profit. Now, this one is only available with the dual air fusion, so it's definitely a little bit more of a, say, commercial option. The dual air fusion does require uh, an air compressor line to run it, as well as a 220 40 volt outlet. So it's not just a regular plug-in because as this unit, it's essentially two presses in one, uh, but as the head shuttles back and forth, it needs that extra voltage uh, to keep up the temperature so you're not waiting for it to recover uh, as it goes back up. Because essentially you're really limiting the time that the press is up, which is great because every single second that that press is closed, you're making money, right? Um, so that is, uh, that's all in there. Let's see. I'm just trying to, trying to see here in the chat, trying to catch up. Um, let's go in. Um, Gregory would like to find the combo. Mike, I'm sure we'll throw that one back in there. Um, and oh, chats are coming in great here. So, so keep, keep the chats coming guys. Um, I'm going to keep going. Mike's going to throw some, some links in there. Um, be able to do it. So, uh, we will have this pro place at pro day in long beach. If you're coming out. Uh, you could get hands on with it uh, at the trade show floor, but yes, please stop by and see it. It's one of the coolest things, especially when it's connected to the fulfill engine software. You just like scan a barcode and it instantly connects to the software, recalls the artwork and boom, projects it exactly where it needs to be printed. As soon as you're done with that, you just hit the screen on a little touchscreen computer or a laptop that you have running and running the projectors outside of it. You could put it, you could direct line in any HDMI connection. So if you have a regular laptop or, or even a tablet or something, you could have a little mount that kind of clips up there and runs right in. But the integrated unit will be all connected to the Hotronics cloud. So you could be able to control it from your phone uh, or even the touchscreen interface on the Fusion IQ for the integrated unit. If you already have a dual air Fusion, you could get a retrofit unit that's just going to be the projector system. Uh, but if you do not have a dual air fusion and really are looking to upgrade your press, maximize that your capability, uh, this, this Pro Place IQ is definitely, even if you're, you know, that's kind of down the road. You're like, well, we're, we're doing good. We're definitely growing. We're building a stable of customers. It's really cool to just see in person. So if you're at Long Beach or any trade shows this year, be sure to stop by the stalls and Transfer Express booth uh, and get hands on and see how cool and how easy that just really simplifies the entire printing process uh, with a heat press. Jasmine says it reminds of Dr. Octopus. <laughs> it, look, it just, it's so, it's so cool. You got to see it to believe it. Um, some really new cool apparel styles that we've seen trending. Uh, definitely the uh, textures, the tie dyes, the reverse dyes, uh, and like the uh, the bleach styles uh, do not uh, even consider getting out of style, right? Uh, we saw tie dye kind of have its flash in the pan, uh, but definitely these like uh, the garment dyed and the uh, distressed 
the bleached garments definitely have not went out of style. So a brand new one here from Port and Company in this hoodie style. Sport Tech has this ST8800, uh, which is this uh, full zip jacket that has the matching joggers with it. Uh, as well as like the bucket hat styles, the bell hat styles, kind of stuff like this. Uh, the C980 from Port Authority uh, is a uh, really kind of trending streetwear athleisure. Um, it is, I've never, I've never been a headwear guy, uh, but I see these things popping up more and more often. We see people decorating them with like an IQ 360 uh, heat press, uh, to be able to print those caps. So, uh, just one thing we want to keep, uh, keep you interested in and let you know of. So if you go, if somebody says, Hey, I saw this like jogger set that had some striping on the sleeves and matching on the pants. I want to do these suits for the gym or whatever. Hey, sport tech. The ST800 and the LPST800 as well, that full matching set. So those are the new apparel styles, of course. New layouts and clip art. This is the photo that I was going to tell you about earlier, um, that those tags on the layouts here, we see the color coding on the side. It's green, class of shirts. So like over here, class of 2024. Over on the right, the class signature shirt. So like these numbers uh, are able to be signed in and then we'll print all of them. So signature layouts, it tells you right at the bottom how to do it, um, as well as uh, those on the inside tag there, you see up at the top that it says new. Uh, those are denoting the brand new layouts for 2024 in that idea book. So something really important to do uh, to keep in mind when you're browsing through that idea book or easyprints.com, right? <clears throat> So five industry trends that we're going to talk about too, just to kind of like round us out here at the end of our webinar. Um, those five industry ten trends, like this one, Cleveland Cavaliers basketball, it's all that left justified text. Uh, we've got some new layouts in there as well. So that's layout QAL153. Uh, like I do mention, we have an entire team of designers. Uh, a few of them are sports fanatics. Uh, and so we've always been kind of ingrained into athletics and sporting goods, uh, especially with decorated apparel, a humongous market uh, for decorated apparel with those sporting goods. Uh, but we see all of these really cool trends for uh, the NBA, NHL, MB, uh, MLB, NFL, like these major league sports that, that like kind of really start to dictate these trends. I know the NFL has been really big on it with like the coach's sideline collection that then Fanatics has available for everybody to buy uh, immediately on game day, right? So like all of these really cool styles uh, and just borrowing some inspiration from them so that you could easily decorate uh, with the very similar aesthetic to what you see the pros wearing as well. So really cool stuff. And when I say when the pros are wearing, uh, stalls is behind the NFL draft. So when you see those, those jerseys printed, uh, in 30 seconds before the pick is announced, uh, on stage and they come out and hold up a Jersey that, uh, that, that, uh, you know, that name on there sure enough comes from stalls. So uh, we've been partnering with the NFL draft for quite a little while now. And one of the coolest, one of the coolest activations that we, uh, we definitely do at the NFL draft. I know we're gearing up for the NFL Combine, too, uh, coming up soon where the scouting combine, all the kids from college going into the pros, entering the, dra the eligible draft class, uh, get together. So uh, they all have to have names and numbers all printed on performance where that's super stretchy. Uh, and, of course, Stalls has been decorating for that uh, for a long time. That's going to be Ultra Color Max coming out uh, on all of that. So the same Ultra Color Max that you could order the direct film transfer uh, from Stalls and Transfer Express uh, is going to be used by uh, the next NFL draft class. Uh, entering the draft this year. Of course, I talked about Barbie, right? The seniors, class of 2024. And of course, the uh, in my uh, Swifty era or in whatever era that you are in right now, um, in my Mardi Gras era, that's going to be coming up soon. So uh, we could be in the Mardi Gras era soon. But so looking at these, uh, these kinds of layouts that are really going to be uh, the designs that your customers are going to be asking for, whether they are, uh, you're standing up an Etsy store, whether you're decorating for retailers or even schools, right? That uh, is incredibly popular, whether they want to take advantage of pop culture. Um, and all of these are, uh, copy, of course, copyright free. Uh, do not infringe on any trademarks and are generic enough, but enough to make it look like it. So that's what our talented team of designers do. Uh, we do, if you try to, you know, print schools uh, unlicensed, we will stop the order and ask you if you do have permission to use them. Uh, we've just seen too many decorators get in trouble for uh, licensed stuff. And especially as a small business, when you're just starting out, maybe you don't even have an LLC incorporated. You could put a lot of things uh, as liability uh, when you do start looking at a lot of uh, 
some of those copyright infringements and you don't get the cease and desist first or it doesn't get delivered to the right spot and then now they're coming after for damages just avoid it you don't want to lose the house you don't want to lose the car just because you wanted to sell a couple t-shirts and get your business off the ground do it the right way right so that's that's dave's uh word of advice for today <laughs> next up of course the smaller left chest prints we saw left chest prints explode in popularity this year well i say last year still think it's 2023 the smaller left chest print as you can see here on the cleveland uh browns head coach of course coach of the year right he's gonna be the nfl coach of the year uh but uh that those smaller left chest prints the more minimalistic branding uh if you will uh the probably an inch and a half up to two inches uh, is typically what you'll see there. So you saw a lot of those. And also one thing I want to point out as well uh, is the bicep print. So we saw those sleeve prints get really popular um, on short sleeves. And sure enough, just where that Nike logo is on the bicep, uh, a huge uh, decorating opportunity for branding on any long sleeve or fleece apparel here. So you don't have to be Nike to put a logo there. If you put a little school's logo or something right there, it's going to make that apparel look like it should be on the field uh, on on Sunday, right? So thank you, Coach, right there. Let's go to the Super Bowl, right? <laughs> Love to see the Brownies do it. So uh, using Ultra Color Max or something like that, those smaller locations, too, are dirt cheap, being priced six cents a square inch, a one by one. If you just do a one by one, that's going to be six cents for that transfer. Talk about profitability, right, in any amount of colors. So uh, really cool. So uh, another thing. We went small and now we're going big, right? So jumbo full front or back prints uh, that is up to 12 and a half by 17 inches. Like we see here with uh, the Culture Studio graphic here. Culture Studio, those guys are awesome out of Chicago. Um, but yeah, so you could do the standard sheet size for a screen printing is 11 and a quarter inch by 14 inches. That jumbo sheet size, like I mentioned, which this Culture Studio graphic is, is that 12 and a half by 17 inches. Uh, and then Ultra Color Max is a 22 by 22 inches, which is larger than most t-shirts. So 22 inches is wider than the frame. I'll back up. It's wider than my t-shirt. And I'm wearing, I'm currently wearing an extra large sweatshirt, right? So 22 inches is going to be far too big. Uh, but if you want to really like max out and get those all over prints, obviously you can. You're not going to be constrained to the 12 and a half by 17 and a half, right? Uh, the one thing, when you're looking at your print sizing, the tip is right here. Do not go bigger than uh, your heat press. Otherwise, you're going to have to do it in multiple steps. It's going to slow your production down. Uh, and, that, and time is money. It's going to hurt your profitability. So it's always best to size to your heat press. Of course, every now and then they're going to be like, well, I want a full sl sleeve print that's going to be 22 inches down the sleeve. Like, okay, charge accordingly for it and say, hey, that's a specialty location to like really max that out. It really is kind of custom. It just takes more time to line those things up. And nine times out of 10, if a customer is asking something wild out of the box like that, they're perfectly okay paying a buck or two extra per piece uh, because nobody else, uh, a lot of other printers, don't even entertain that. They're like, no, we don't have the screen printing press for it. Never going to do it. Nope. Go find somebody else. So with the heat press, you could decorate on those. Or they want to do tote bags or coolers or uh, accessory pouches, fanny packs, whatever it may be. Anything that you could fit under the heat press is going to be able to pr be printed with the heat applied product. Uh, or then even hard goods and stuff, you could put pressure sensitive products on it as well. The CAD print stickers that we have available. You could use that same artwork that you're using in Easy View Online Designer for screen printed transfers for digital transfers, for those direct-to-film transfers, and yes, even stickers and window clings. So you have all of that availability. Just use that that uh, that selection on the lower left-hand side to be able to switch between uh, the full color and the screen printed options. All of those stickers you'll see under full color uh, in there. So we're dwindling on our five industry trends. We're coming to the, uh, coming to the home stretch. Julie does say go Lions in there. I will say go Lions too. City of Detroit and the city of Cleveland have not seen the Super Bowl in quite a long time, or even the NFL playoffs for that matter. So let's go. <laughs> uh, Peach Fuzz is the Pantone color of the year, and you can see it applied here in the uh, It's Wild graphic, uh, QTR48. Uh, in Peach Fuzz, as the Pantone color is like to the eye, almost exact. The stock peach color that's available with our Plastisol inks. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Uh, in our guide right here, not there. Where's my peach? Where's my peach? It's in here somewhere. There it is. So that peach color is Pantone's like color of the year. So 
that's uh that's right there so super close to the uh pantone color of the year so you have the access to use that you don't even have to pay because if you want to we do have 70 plus standard ink colors that are available in that guide but if you have a customer who says no i need pantone 2935 it's a blue right you could go over to the easy view online designer type in 2935 and it's going to color up to the right color uh, and you're able to order that it's just 25 dollars per color per order uh when you do that uh oh man i see a whole bunch of football team love in here now <laughs> i can't say go to the teams that have been to the super bowl before okay because my brownies are making it <laughs> Uh, Miranda says, are the stickers cut out according to the designer? Are they all, only circular or square? They are whatever you want them to be. If you want to be circular or square, you absolutely can be. Uh, but if you want them to be contour cut to your actual graphic, uh, that is the default. So uh, just note when you're ordering, just note and say, I want a contour cut. And our artists will go in there and make a contour cut. Or if you say like, hey, just make it a square, uh, we'll make it a square around your file anyway, too. Um, so that's a great question. That's a great question, Miranda. Um, Karen says, go blues. Oops, wrong football. <laughs> oh man, we're having fun today. So Matthew asks, any chenille patch, patch samples available? Uh, yes, I believe chenille patches. They did launch yesterday on our sister site, stalls.com. Uh, so you could order custom chenille patches now. And I believe samples are in stock. If not, they're coming soon. Uh, head on over to, uh, just go over to stalls.com and you'll see it right on the homepage. Chenille's been one of those things that's been kind of hot, and we know we've been getting requests for it for years now. Uh, and so the day has finally come. It's launched. It's here. Chenille is out. So we're very excited for that one um, in there. So uh, let's 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 uh, let's roll on through. We're almost wrapping up here, and I appreciate you guys hanging out. So this is the marketing kit special for the webinar. These are, these don't go on sale. Usually the only discounts we ever see on these are at shows like the Impressions Expo that we're gonna be going to soon, uh, the Graphics Pro Expo or any of those decorated apparel expos. Be sure to head over to uh, transferexpress.com, uh, scroll down to the bottom, click events to see when we're going to be uh, in a city near you or if you just wanna escape this Midwest winter uh, and head out to uh, out of, somewhere out West uh, maybe, maybe, you know, we go from Cleveland to Las Vegas for the Super Bowl in February, huh? Wouldn't that be nice, right? I don't know any trade shows that are going on in February there, but uh, we will be in, in Las Vegas for the Printing United Expo later this year. We'll be, uh, yeah, all over. So just go check where we're going to be. Uh, and that is the only time that you could get a discount on these kits. But this one, first webinar of 2024. We wanted to extend this special to you guys. As we're talking about all the new, new cool stuff, we wanted to get a discount in here for you. So uh, you saw that everything in here you get, uh, if you get the combo kit, which is $75 for the marketing and application kit, uh, you do get $25 back uh, credited to your account immediately when you purchase it. Um, and then you get all of the digital assets that we talked about. You get that sizing t-shirt and placement guide uh, that's printed on that real t-shirt. You get all that stuff, uh, everything pretty much that we covered today, minus that brand new Hot Tron Express, okay? You're not getting that for, <laughs> for a, a webinar special, uh, not even available yet. So really it still is in, uh, I believe it's, they're gonna start shipping next month. Um, but in the spring is really when the when the full volume of those is going to be, uh, you know, kind of start leaving the door. All of those presses, all Hotronics heat presses are made in Carmichael PA. So all made in the USA uh, from, uh, you know, very, very talented builders, uh, craftsmen and welders. And it's all Pennsylvania made steel. And yes, of course, even as a Cleveland fan, I have to say, Steelers made the playoffs too. Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, entire, entire, uh, entire season this year, I think was fantastic. And I uh, can't wait to see how it wraps up, but that that'll be the end of our football talk here uh, today. <laughs> Rhonda says, I already bought mine and paid full price. Ah, oh, you got the digital asset kit now. So I hope you use that. Hope you'll be able to get it out there. And if you guys, yes, if there's any, uh, if you say like, Hey, it would be great to have something like this. Let us know. Because this is all stuff that if if you could find it valuable, it's going to help other decorators find it valuable. And we want to be able to be the resource that that could help your business have the best 2024 yet. So uh, if you haven't picked up one of these marketing kits, absolutely. I think the digital kit alone is worth it uh, with all the upgrades that are going to come through the year. The idea book, worth it alone. Even the color selector swatch book at $20. If you just wanted to pick one of those up yourself, um, 
And man, when you whip that thing out and you start thumbing through your uh, your your color selector swatch book when you're meeting with a customer to be like, well, how does this uh, how is this 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 uh, this red color going to look? Is this exactly what your school colors are? And I will tell you that I've had customers who have been uh, very very uh, particular about color when they're like, oh no no, we always need two eighty three. Uh, that's the red that we use. And then you show them this one. And they're like, you know what? That looks fine. We don't want to pay the extra $25 for an, a custom ink fee. So this thing has saved me in so many customer conversations. Uh, I think it's helped me sell more uh, custom printed apparel, like for just people who ask me, uh, than the $20 that it's uh, it's valued at if you picked it up alone. So uh, a, an incredible piece of marketing potential. The application kit helps you apply easier frustration free. And that's what it's all about. That's what we're all about here at stalls. Um, so I think Mike, Mike threw the links in there. If you are interested, maybe he'll throw it one more time uh, into that. Nope. He already put it in there. I saw it in there. Um, maybe he throws it in one more time for that link to the special. Uh, this is only good for today. It's pretty much gone. Um, and then you'll have to see us at a show, which is not going to be a problem. Come see me at a show anyway. Um, I'd be more than happy to talk shop, talk about what's new and maybe demo that pro place or some, uh, some of those new puff transfers, right? Maybe we'll see some of those soon on the trade show for it as well. But I want to thank you guys for hanging out so much uh, with me today. I hope I was able to shed some light on some new tools that you could use for your business to really capitalize, meet the solutions or, or you know, kind of meet the, your customers' problems with the solutions that are going to absolutely wow them. Build uh, not just customers, but clients repeat customers who are going to come back that you're going to develop a relationship with that aren't even going to consider anybody else. You're going to be their go-to stop. And instead of being like, oh, hey, Dave, the t-shirt guy, they're going to say, hey, Jasmine, the t-shirt gal, <laughs> or, or whoever you are, um, that they are going to come to you, right? They're going to come to you and you are going to be their resource for custom branded merch or apparel or uniforms or sporting goods or athleisure or whatever it may be. Hey, do you do tote bags? You bet I could print on tote bags for you. Hey, we're going to be doing these promotional stuff coming up. Like, we'd really love some fanny packs for the kids on this field trip. It just would be too funny. I could print on fanny packs for you. Absolutely no worries. Uh, and you could be confident in your decorating abilities. So any way that I could help you get there, uh, please let us know. Chat section, info at transferexpress.com. Uh, I personally answer every single uh, comment on the Transfer Express YouTube page. So if you ever want to get direct line to me, whether it be the middle of the night or uh, early morning or middle of the day, comment on a uh, Transfer Express YouTube video, and I'll be the one to respond here to you uh, because I want to help your business thrive. And a lot of times when I can't go to bed at night and I'm just scrolling around, I'm usually answering uh, YouTube comments at about two o'clock in the morning. So if you see that come through, that's me. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, really, really appreciate it of you. Let's, let's make 2024 the best year yet. And I hope to see you soon somewhere on the road. But if I don't, until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing.